Well, hey guys, um, I guess uh, we'll call this my creative dungeon. Um, the main reason I'm here is actually because I'm doing this at night and I just don't want to interfere with my family, but maybe that'll be part of the experience is that you get to kind of see a couple of different rooms in the house. Um, I guess we can say that this is an experience. Um, I was I was caught off guard by this whole thing. Um, you gotta imagine, I don't know if you remember, but when I when I left, um, the last time I saw you guys, I was actually getting on a plane to go to a funeral in Alberta. So I pretty much got all the information about what was going on while I was sitting in an airport. In an airport. Um, so it was a little bit stressful uh, on us because all of a sudden uh, life changed kind of just in an instant where now all of a sudden you're looking around and you're you're wondering who's who's coughing in their sleeve and <laughs> and it's it just became a whole new reality fairly quick so um, here we are we're, we're actually in a in an interesting period of time um, this hasn't happened in well in the last hundred years the Spanish flu I guess was the last time this happened and I believe that was like 1917 1918 to 1920 just right after World War One uh, so there's hardly anyone alive to actually remember that or maybe there might be someone that was just born during that time so I know my grandparents haven't been anything or haven't had anything like this happen to them and uh, so you are sitting in a moment of history um, to be honest uh, my family we've actually been enjoying it quite a bit um, uh, of course we've had our good talks about what it all means um, but we've been enjoying our time as best we can. Um, I enjoy the slowing down of things. I enjoy uh, actually seeing people walking on the street and smiling because they're, they're just happy to see somebody. Um, so there's been a lot of good positives and uh, I know probably you and your family are, are maybe experiencing some stresses too. And, and uh, But I'm hoping we can take some positives out of it. And I'm hoping that this will be a good experience for us uh, so that, I mean, we're going to be doing something new and that's doing some online learning, which means I get to do stuff like this and, and uh, <laughs> talk in front of a camera, which is, uh, you know, something I've done before. But uh, it's, it's weird because I know it's not going to be just my students that are often going to be watching this. It could be whoever. So it's kind of a vulnerable space, but, but we'll, we'll make it vulnerable and that'll be okay. Um, so hello. Uh, lots of stories to share but we'll just we'll keep this as short as we can um, the first thing I want to do for this week is I just want you guys to get familiar with uh, the overall online tools so we are transitioning to teams and I'm hoping you're watching this on teams and uh, and so the first assignment is going to be is I mean I want to know what this is like for you um, so I want to hear um, your experiences um, what you've been doing at home um, and some of your viewpoints on uh, how this is affecting you and your family and uh, I just we're just gonna make a reflective paper uh, mainly to give us a, a writing mark but also just to get reconnected um, your assignment is on teams and uh, it will be graded on teams it will be handed in on teams uh, it's just a, it's just the best platform for us to use so uh, this week is just about getting connected and uh, and just seeing how we can use these tools. So that's the main thing. <laughs> um, uh, I guess this uh, whole thing is definitely going to be something that's going to be on my wall of stories. Um, and so I don't know if you remember some of those lessons, but uh, one of the main things is is that well uh, we're, we're definitely not in control of this. And if you remember what I always say is the only things we are in control of is actually how we respond to things. So. I'm hoping we can respond to this in a positive way and uh, just yeah just make a best of the situation uh, it's been interesting sometimes my <laughs> uh, my neighbor's kid is 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 out on on the lawn and he's three his name's Levi 
and he's just this, you know, this COVID nineteen nightmare in a way because he'll be he'll be playing with his mom on the on the on the yard, and he'll he'll see me, and he's like, "Hey, Chris," and he's gonna you know walk right over, and it's just like, yeah, we'll just try and you know make this social distancing ha thing happen, but it's not gonna happen with a three three year old. He's just he's just just a, a ball of of joy. He just wants to be wants to be close. This is quite new for. For uh, for youngsters to think that they have to maybe keep their distance, but um, I'm sure maybe you have some some interesting COVID-19 stories to share. But um, so hopefully you can get to the assignment. And hopefully you can you can start to raise some of your thoughts, and and uh, and we'll go from there. We'll see see what we can do with this uh, online experience. So uh, let's see how it goes.